Hi, I'm Steve-O. Hi, I'm Christina. And welcome to Wetzel's Pretzels. We're here today to help you get a little more familiar with our company and the responsibilities of your new position. Combined with the hands-on training you'll receive, it'll show you what it takes to be a successful team member. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Growing up with the name Wetzel meant being taunted by the schoolyard rhyme, Hey Wetzel, you pretzel! Wetzel, you pretzel, Wetzel, you pretzel, Wetzel, you pretzel, Wetzel, you pretzel. This message twisted little Rick Wetzel's impressionable mind. Pretzels were his destiny. Rick Wetzel and Bill Phelps met while working together at Nestle USA in Glendale, California. And the twisted idea was born. They developed the concept and created recipes for a bakery serving fresh baked oversized soft pretzels and fresh squeezed lemonade. In 1994, their vision became a reality. They opened their first store at the South Bay Galleria Mall in Redondo Beach, California. And from those humble beginnings in a headquarters located in the back room of their second store, a pretzel empire was created. Rick and Bill began franchising in 1996, and today we have franchised Wetzel's Pretzels locations throughout the world. Our corporate headquarters is located in Pasadena, California, where new twisted ideas originate every day. Our uniform is a brightly colored polo shirt with our logo on the sleeve worn tucked into blue jeans or blue jean shorts. Your jeans must be clean and fit you properly. The apron goes on over your head and ties in the back. You may choose a baseball cap or a visor. Both must be worn with the bill facing forward. Your name tag goes on the upper left side of your apron. Closed toed shoes and socks complete the uniform. Jewelry must be tasteful and is restricted by health department regulations. Your store manager will let you know what jewelry is acceptable. Remember, the most important part of your uniform is your smile. When you arrive for work in the morning, turn on the lights. Clock in. Turn on the oven to 600 degrees. Turn on the granita machine. Turn on the warming unit, fill the trays with water, and set the temperature. And turn on the butter warmer. Hey everybody, let's go make a yeast start. First fill a pitcher with 44 ounces of 100 degree water. Then pour the water into the yeast container Add one ounce of yeast, but don't stir it yet. Cover the container with a lid and let the mixture stand for a minimum of 10 minutes. Who wants to make some dough? You must be at least 18 years old and have received safety training before you can operate the mixer. Our dough is prepared several times a day in order to ensure that only WOW pretzels are served to our customers. First, stir one yeast start until it is thoroughly mixed, then pour it into the mixer bowl. Add one bag of Wetzel's Pretzels Premix. Using the mixer handle, crank the mixer bowl up into the locked position and slide the mixer guard into place. Set the timer for six minutes and press start. While the dough is mixing, spray a stainless steel bowl with non-stick cooking spray. When the timer goes off, crank down the mixer bowl, slide the mixer guard to the back, and lift out the dough into the prepared stainless steel bowl. Press down on the dough and spray the top with non-stick cooking spray. 
Cover the stainless steel bowl with a plastic wrap and set it aside to proof. That means rise for 45 minutes. Pour the dough out of the stainless steel bowl onto the rolling table. Press down with gloved hands and cover with plastic wrap. Using a pizza cutter, cut a piece of dough approximately 12 inches long. Weigh the piece. It must weigh exactly 6 ounces. Roll the dough with both hands into a consistent width rope about 4.5 feet long. If the rope is not the right length or the correct thickness, the pretzel will not be the right size and will not bake properly. When the dough is the correct length and thickness, pick up the two ends of the dough rope as if it were a jump rope and slap it once on the counter. Bring your right hand to your left hand in an arc so that the bottom of the loop of the pretzel twists around. After the first twist, set the pretzel on the rolling counter with the bottom of the loop closest to you. Lay the legs of the pretzel on top of the loop, tucking the bottom feet around the bottom of the dough, and press firmly with your thumbs to connect the feet with the bottom of the loop. Pick up by the feet and place in the browning solution. Then tap on a dry towel to remove any excess solution. And place on a Teflon covered baking pan with the feet to the center. Repeat the procedure until you have rolled and panned six pretzels. The pretzels should fill the entire tray. The pretzels are then placed in the oven to bake. Baking takes about six minutes. And the pan is turned at about three minutes. They are removed from the oven when they are golden brown. A perfect pretzel is six and three quarter inches wide by seven inches high weighs six ounces, is golden brown, and has an even thickness. Pretzels are prepared for serving by picking them up by the middle with tongs, dipping them face down in clarified butter, then placing them into one of our serving sleeves and handing them across the counter directly into the hands of the customer. Nobody wants a misshaped pretzel. The perfect pretzel is what everybody's looking for. It fits in the sleeve right, it just looks right in the window, and that's usually what gets our customers. They see the nice pretzel, they want to buy it, they want to eat it, they love it. Yeah, absolutely, it's great. they're very visual oriented when you're going to buy food. It has to look good, it has to look scrumptious, it has to look yummy, it has to look hot and fresh and delicious, or you lose your appetite and you don't want to buy it. I make like the greatest pretzels ever. Well, I do. It's an art to make a pretzel. When I was learning to roll a pretzel, I watched the pretzel roller, and I said to myself, I can't do it. I can't do this. I cannot roll a pretzel. Three days later, I was rolling a perfect pretzel, and I thought I was a pretzel stud, and soon to become a pretzel guru. It's just really hard for them to know how long the length should be of the rope. And so they twist it, and they think, I mean, you, you were able to twist it so you're happy for yourself and that's good, but you also have to make sure that it's actual size of a pretzel, so. And there's bow tie pretzels that are too wide, they don't fit in the warmer. Ones that look like muffins, ones that are small. Follow the recipe's directions, like take it slow, not to rush everything. That's like basically it. It's fun. Have fun. <laughs> that's it. Just like paying attention to the person that trains you and making sure that, you know, you get the right technique of doing it.
Remove the hot dogs from the refrigerator and place them in a microwavable bowl. Cover the dogs with water. Set the timer, one minute per hot dog. Remove the hot dogs from the microwave. Drain off the water. Cut a piece of dough and roll it into a rope, pencil width. Hold a hot dog in one hand. Leave three quarters of an inch of hot dog showing at one end and begin wrapping the dough rope around the hot dog until three quarters of an inch of hot dog is showing at the other end. Remove the excess dough. Tuck the last wrap under the next to the last wrap. Place the Wetzel dog on the counter and with light pressure, roll it once to tighten the wrap. Dip it into the browning solution and place it on a towel to remove the excess moisture. Place it on a Teflon covered baking pan and place the pan in the oven. Bake for six minutes, turning halfway through the baking. They're ready when you hear them bark. Cut a piece of dough and weigh it. It should weigh 10 ounces. Roll the dough to the width of a pretzel rope. Place the rope in the browning solution and then on a towel to remove any excess solution. Place the rope back on the rolling counter. Cut it with pizza cutter into one and one quarter inch pieces. Pick up the pieces and place them on a Teflon covered baking pan. The pieces should not be touching. Then bake for six minutes, turning the pan halfway through baking. <laughs> All of our delicious pretzels are made from one basic recipe. To create our pizza twist, grateful garlic, cheese meltdown, and nacho cheese meltdown, remove the cheese blend from the refrigerator. Roll, twist, and dip the pretzel. Then press it top down into the cheese blend and place it onto the baking pan for baking. All other toppings are added at the topping station after the pretzel is baked. We begin by dipping the pretzel in clarified butter. Then we dip the pretzel in cinnamon sugar to create the sinful cinnamon. Spread on garlic butter and sprinkle on Parmesan cheese to create the grateful garlic and pizza twist. Then we dip the pretzel in clarified butter and sprinkle on Parmesan cheese to create our cheese meltdown and nacho cheese meltdown. Shake on sour cream and onion topping to create the sour cream and onion. Brush on cinnamon paste and pour on glazed icing to create the cine yum. And press the pretzel into crushed almonds to create the almond crunch. We also serve delicious dips to enhance the flavor of our pretzels. The four pre-packaged dips we serve are cheese, jalapeno cheese, sweet caramel, and pizza sauce.
Cut enough lemons in half to make one batch of lemonade, about half of a case. Juice each lemon and throw the peels into a box lined with a trash bag. Fill a container to the 3 liter mark. 3 liters of lemon juice makes one batch of lemonade. Add the following to a plastic lemonade bucket in this order. 10 cups of sugar, two liters of hot water, then stir until the sugar is completely dissolved. Add three liters of lemon juice through the strainer. Then 15 liters of cold tap water, and stir again. Fill the lemonade dispenser by dipping a pitcher into the bucket of prepared lemonade and transferring it into the dispenser until the bucket can easily be lifted. Use the lid of the bucket to catch any drips. Fill a 22 ounce or 32 ounce logo cup two thirds full with ice and add lemonade to the top. Put a lid on the cup and set the drink on the counter in front of the customer. The warming unit is thoroughly cleaned every night and set up with fresh pretzels every morning. The pretzels are placed in a warming unit by type and in a manner that ensures that our customers are always served fresh, wow, pretzels. Buttered originals, salted and unsalted, are placed on the side closest to the register. Flavored and non-fat pretzels are placed in the middle. Dips and Wetzel bits are placed on the other side, dips in the front, bits in the back. Display pretzels are made fresh every morning and placed on the display rack of the warming unit. A warming unit sign is placed in front of each pretzel display to help our customers in making their selection. When the store is ready to open, the cash is brought out to the front and put into the register. The lights are turned on and voila! The store is open for business! As a new employee, you'll be trained at every station. Once trained, you'll be assigned to work at the station where you're the most proficient or where you're needed the most. Each station plays an important role in providing a positive experience for our customers. The roller's responsibility is to roll pretzels and listen to production calls in order to maintain the right number of each type of pretzel fresh in the warming unit at all times. The baker's responsibility is to be sure that all pretzels are baked according to our baking procedure. To monitor the ovens, transport pretzels to the warming unit, and keep the pretzels properly rotated. The cashier greets the customers, takes and assembles the orders, upsells and offers suggestions, takes the cash, and has the most influence on the customer's overall impression of how important they are to us. The expediter assists in filling the orders so that all customers are served as quickly as possible and keeps the roller and baker informed of what pretzels are needed. The expediter also assists the cashier with upselling and helps the other employees by keeping every work area fully supplied. The sampler greets people walking in front of the store and offers them wow samples. Would you like a sample? Here you go. Is that good? Do you like the Wetzel dogs? Do you like a sample? This person is our pretzel ambassador and plays a very important role in bringing new business into the store. Great. What's your favorite kind of pretzel? I like them all. You like them all? I like the sinful cinnamon one. Sinful cinnamon? Mm-hmm. And how about you? What's your favorite pretzel? Apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon? Would you like a sample?